Honor grace. Amen. To God be the glory, great is he has done. One of the deepest mystery is a part of a Messiah. In God's plan for redemption, only his son, the only son was required. The comfort of an only son is immeasurable. But if my work or creation will be redeemed, then I need to let go the comfort, the consolation, the encouragement, and the attachment of my only son. And the joy of the birth of the only son is the salvation of the whole world. Today we talk about billions of Christians in the whole world. The price you are not willing to pay are the values you are not ready to take delivery from. So every value of inheritance assigned and appointed for you, there must be a price. And that price begins with how ready are you to deny yourself? Real kingdom service begins with self-denial. Self-denial is not self-deprivation. Self-denial is a submission to service. You deny yourself what seems to be right so that you can gain God and move faster and move better. I carried out this Bible today because this is a major ordination. It is the costliest Bible I have and the most difficult Bible to read. I was in the U.S. with Dr. Ame when it was shown to me at the value of $3,000. When somebody asks you, did I give you a Bible or give you $3,000? Which one would you take? You can't even buy see the Bible in the market. It's customized. It's customized. I and him are the only people that have it in Nigeria. Go search anywhere. Father, today, we've gathered in your name in honor to your only son, Jesus Christ, 
and the mandate of redemption he was born to deliver for which he also lived and suffered and paid the high price to fulfill his life is a demonstration the kingdom life is a life given for a culture of sacrifice. And sacrifice is self-denial in order to gain you, the almighty God. We welcome you to this house today. Thank you for the submission and obedience of your sons and daughters. And we ask that you will breathe upon them. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You may be seated now. You may be seated. Like I presented in my opening test. It is a call to still worship and I've given you the four laws of still worship which are the laws of ownership, the laws of responsibility, the laws of accountability and the laws of reward. Reward. You don't need to own a church to serve in the church. You need to be a child of God to discover your place in the plan of God. Not everybody in the church are qualified to be recognized for ordination into some offices by time. But those who have been able to show a sign of commitment and out of passion and consistently remain in the church for a while. Those are the people that the church leadership can look up to to discover the hand of God upon their life and the capacity for which they can help as the work is expounding. So by the grace of God, none of you here came nor negotiated your way either to Pastor Dr. Mary, who is our mission director, and lobbied to be nominated, or come to my office and say to me, You know, Apostle, I've been here for a while. I don't know why you refuse to ordain me. <laughs> Praise God. We check our records and we noted that the last ordination we had was in 2014. This is 2022. Ordination is not what we do every year. It's something we look at. 2022. How many people have been here since 2022? We're numbered in the house presently. But we handle that tomorrow. More than 60 people. On the average of 15 years. And when people have been able to stay in the church that long, that is grace. We also look around and we discover that people who has moved abroad and moved out of Lagos have not lost connection with the church. As we talk, Joyce from Abuja, Madeline from Oka, Victoria from Asaba, they are all ministers of the gospel. And I just the few that are here today. So all of you that have been nominated and has undergone the process of rigorous training and by the grace of God passed through this, this, this screening, submitted your forms and obliged all the conditions for the nation, which also include paying your administrative fees. I am here to say to you, congratulations. Thank you for enduring our hard doctrine. I will hear it's not safe for anyone to remain in Dominion Gate for a long time. 
It means that you are willing to serve God. Are we here? We have no message outside the word of God. And we know we have an assignment with the world. And our assignment with the world is to transform the world. Convert them into the kingdom of our God. Not for them to convert us. We have a few excuses. Oh, um, I will need the next one year to think about it. And with joy, we said, okay. Permission granted. Admission is not something you force on anyone. But the question I asked myself in the night, what if anything happened to these people before the next one year? That this ordination would have stopped. What will happen? So, we let them go according to their heart desires. But for you, who have chosen, if the church said, I am qualified, who am I? Oh Lord, help me. And indeed, the Lord will help you. Amen. Praise God. No, many of you that used to shout and talk, I know you are, you are asking yourself, oh, now I'm ordained or ordained thinking. Maybe I will not be able to shout again. They will see me. You are going to become more conscious of your relationship with God. Are we here? More conscious to win God. Before, nothing happens when you do anything. But now, when you do anything, the name they will call you Dikin. Dikin. Even your wife will call you Dikin. Your husband will call you Dikin. Are we here? You know, Abraham was called Abraham. It sounds so brief. And it was called that name for a long time. And that name was not prophetic enough to touch his mandate. And God came to him and said, you need to change your name. Here, you need to change your status. You have been Mr. Enough. You will now have a title. And that title is a prophetic symbol that powers you before your name. Are we here? You understand what I mean by that? Pastor Charles Samuel. You see the word? Pastor Charles Samuel. Whatever a pastor represents comes first. And then the name follows. So your name is coming under grace. Folded. Molded. Breathed upon and powered. And that means that for now, God goes before you. You had always gone before God. But today, the Lord goes before you. When your title is called before your name, it means that God who gave you the title goes before you. I wish more people are here to see what we're doing. This is what you have to be conscious of. The office is the simplest office to live with. Because it has no demonic condition. It's not going to demand the blood of your son, the blood of your husband, the blood of your wife. It, it, it is powered by the blood of his son that have been shed. All you need to do is to submit. And to say, like our father and the Lord said the other time, Lord, I will. Have your way. Are we here? Many people that have been doubting in the good church, when he's tired, he will meet us here. They will be wondering today, eh? The go church, so they, they recognize him. Come give him title. Ah, we've lost him. Are you here? So everybody that is waiting that one day you will renounce your faith. Today, their expectation has been disappointed. I see here. So what's the necessity for the nation because of our time? 
necessity for ordination is informed by the expansion of the work. You know the story of Numbers 11. The burden of the work became so high. But the people have been with Moses. They've been with Moses. And Moses has bought all their burden. And Moses has, you know, fight all their battle. But there was no one there qualified to help in the office of Moses. But Moses was helping in everyone's office. So one day they came to Moses and said to Moses, For 35 years, we have been feeding on one kind of meal. Manna in the morning. Manna in the evening. Manna every day. It's like say, your wife will serve you bread in the morning, bread in the afternoon, bread in the night. Is it not enough to complain? But when and how did the bread come? The bread came at a time they were complaining. We are hungry. Our wives are hungry. Our children are hungry. This wilderness, no market, nothing. Moses, give us food to eat. And Moses lifted up his hand in the wilderness. And God told him, I will feed them with manna. Manna means bread of the angel. And the Greek word for the bread of the angel means what you do not know how it was done or baked. So, I will give them communion. That communion is I will empower them. Okay? I will empower them. It is not normal to journey for 35 years on one meal and survive your shoe one shoe 35 years one cloth 35 years it's not normal it means that they were in the wilderness with a supernatural nature because they, they wore a supernatural covering it's like they lived in an air conditioned environment for 35 years day and night no tea and wear That's the mystery of grace. Now, they complain they had that bread, which was not actually food for them, but which is immunization and the empowerment or consecration for their journey. They begin to look at it with natural eyes and test. And they began to complain. The next thing they did was to confront Moses. Are we not going to have a change of meal? All these years, it be one meal, one meal. They forgot there was a time there was no meal at all. Are we here? And Moses said, I am tired. He went to God. He said, God, am I their father? Am I their mother? Why do you want me to die for all these ungrateful people? Brethren, leadership can be demanding. But when you lead with the heart of God, you will lead with love. You will lead with passion. You will see their challenges as your responsibility to handle. Are we here? Now, these are the mysteries which is in my mind. I am running off because of a few things we need to do more. God said to Moses, gather the people together in the tent of the meeting select among them 70 exceptional outstanding non-complaining people if you used to be a complainant before the oil comes upon your head please withdraw that will be my word for you when a leader on an assignment is a complainant, it will destroy the assignment. Are we here? 
Now, the people complained to Moses. Did Moses curse them? What did Moses do? He went to the one who appointed it and complained to the one who appointed him. Did the one that appointed him get angry with him? That was prayer. Lord, I am confused. What is the way out? When you take over this assignment and you get to a difficult area that you cannot handle, please seek for help. Are we here? Return to the offices of the leadership that you are serving under for help. Are we here? And when those offices cannot help, have access to my office. Help will surely come. This mandate does not demand you complain. Don't complain about your wife. Don't complain about your husband. Don't complain about your children. Everything happening is your assignment to make you stronger. Praise God. Lay everything at the altar of grace. Look up to God and God will take over. I believe the higher grace is coming upon you today. Can I hear a living amen? So what did God say? God says, select people. We have selected you. We have obeyed him. May you not fear him. We we'll look at our records. We we'll look at our accounts. We we'll look at um, our, uh, our progress. And we we'll trace some of them to you. And we we'll look at our needs. We need board of elders. We need board of deacons. We need the evangelical council where we have to measure how many souls are coming in, how many souls are, are going abroad, how many souls are going outside where we are. Praise God. And then we need a prayer put, potter where we have ministers, deacons, and working on standing in the gap for, for God on 247. And we found you. Somebody say, and we found you. Come on, congratulate yourself with a clap offering. Moses was shocked. God did not say, and I will pour my spirit upon them. God said, and I will take of my spirit that is upon you and put it in them. For what? So that they will help you to bear the burden, not to become a burden. When leadership becomes a burden, that the work is destroyed. May you never become a burden. Are we here? And they obeyed God, gathered the people, and the Bible says, and the Spirit of God came upon the 70 and some of them at the end of the day took responsibility to care for 10 families some had the grace to care for 50 families so had the grace to care for 100 families 20 families and the bible says so that the case they cannot handle they will bring it to you praise god so that the work will be easy i beg you ordination is sharing from the originating grace. Distributing and appropriating upon you the same grace. The same grace. You are a new generation of, upon which the glory of the Lord for the next phase of dominion mandate. And when we talk about dominion mandate, we are bigger than what we are seeing. So large to what you are seeing. We are a hub for the body of Christ in Lagos. We have centers in Uganda, centers in Liberia, centers in Ghana, and we have centers in the U.S. I don't know the next need. A few days ago, of course, we are coming from Zimbabwe and South Africa. We are coming to a time where we cannot be everywhere. You have to grow up. Praise God. 
remember if it is going to be from the same spirit you are expected to be observant are we here and do the work the way you see us do the work share the word of god the way you see us share the word of god be patient and tolerance with people the way you see or tolerate you we've tolerated some of you for 22 years 15 years 10 years but you can't tolerate a prayer is that you will have what it takes to tolerate today a new bread from heaven shall fall upon you you told them i close romans chapter 1 verse 8 romans i mean um, Acts chapter 1 and verse 8 he has said to them in verse 7 and he said unto them it is not for you to know the times or the season which power will shift which the father are putting his own power verse 8 then you shall receive power lift up your right hand and say i shall receive power shout it like you mean it you can't do this work with your natural mind a natural man does not understand the things of the spirit but you shall receive shout it again say it to yourself now the power we bring transformation which is the higher the next measure of grace in your christian life and christian work this power is power in your conscience is power of consecration are we here so you are your passion your appetite the things you desire will change your desire for sin will die i was talking yesterday morning i went out for evangelism and i met a man with his wife we're in abulado that time and the man said i have a question for you does your church condemn people who drink beer is that not a great question and i said to him our church does not condemn people who drink beer but our church teaches people what is best for their lives praise god and those who have the holy ghost does not need beer and when you have the holy ghost and you put beer the beer will defy and weaken the holy ghost are we here they asked jesus will you at this time give the power to israel and he said to them you shall receive power don't go into evangelism and go into argument it's not about argument it is about carrying what you have to change your world are you here i changed the game i start telling them about the holy ghost power of the holy ghost good health and blessings of the holy ghost and by the time i was as i was speaking the man knelt down the wife knelt down the next sunday they were in our church the rest are stories are we here today you shall receive power you shall receive the holy ghost you shall become a conqueror you shall become an overcomer you shall become a champion which means that god will supernaturally own you and everyone that is struggling ownership of you will be disconnected no one will dare say i owe you i will control you i have a covenant with your mother concerning you you are going to serve me no by the time the oil comes upon your head today you will look for those things and you shall not see them you know that peter was in the upper room are we here he has a lot of natural nature he was in the upper room a lot of them that have this weakness and that weakness they were in the upper room when the holy ghost met them they were changed into another man so god will transform you and we you become god's divine property number two 
he will put in you authority kingdom authority to overcome kingdoms and three he will make, make you his living witness anywhere you go they will see the hand of god upon you anywhere you go they will see the power of god upon you that is what you will become immediately after that promise was made by chapter 2 the bible say and suddenly they came upon them a cloven tongues of fire and the holy ghost rested upon them like dove and they and gave them all trances and they began to speak in a new tongue which means they received a new language forget your weaknesses seek for the strength of the almighty seek for the power of the almighty elders deacons pastors evangelists ministers ministers in training forget your weaknesses look up to god say to god i know it's by your grace which means it's by your power i look up to you and i seek to be empowered get on your feet all those of you that are pointed and move forward don't come too closer to the altar that, that's okay now listen your cloth looks so so beautiful forget it don't be too conscious of the cloth release yourself are we here release yourself so really in our ordination the ordination takes place before the main ordination are we here if you have had me and those of you that have come as witnesses you didn't come as a witness don't want you to be here the word you have received is enough to walk in your life. Get connected to what is about to happen. Something will start happening in your house. Something will start happening in your lives. Something will start happening everywhere you go. The Bible says, and they went everywhere preaching the word of God. Mark chapter 16 and verse 20. And the Lord confirming his word with signs and wonders following preach your conversion preach your experience your major work in all of your certifications is evangelism prayers and your expectation should be signs somebody say signs wonders anywhere you enter things must change and anywhere the soul of your feet shall tread upon, they are given unto you for a position. You will sing the song from of the sun. Oh, follow Jesus. I have the sun. Oh, follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. Give me grace, Lord, to do this work. Give me grace, Lord, to do this work, Lord. Give me grace, Lord, to do this work, Lord. No turning back, no turning back. Give me power to do this work, Lord. Give me power to do this work, Lord. Give me power to do this work, Lord. No turning back. No turning back. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, from the bottom of my heart to the depth of my soul. Yes, Lord, 
Come on, somebody sing it. Yes, Lord. Sing it again. Sing it again. Yes, Lord. On the dime of my heart. To the death of my soul. Yes, Lord. Completely, completely, completely. Completely, yes. My soul says yeah. I ask you to ask for God's help for this appointment. Come on, help her. Lord, you help, Lord. Help my people for whom it has pleased you to nominate and call to expand your kingdom on the earth from DGMI. Lord, help. Help from above. Help from above. Help for service. Help. 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 Help us. Help us. It is possible. Lena na 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 ikapata yagadede de kapadusa ya inane kapata ya and I will take up my spirit as a senior and I will put it upon them. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You gave you gave Moses seventy. At the same day, in one day, seventy, a moment is stop. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bring it upon my people. And the moment shall stop. Bring it upon my people. And the power for salvation shall come. Bring it upon my people. Bring it upon my people. We are not saying to God, I receive power now. Power of the Holy Ghost. 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 Power Receive a new Pentecost fire with a clothing dose of fire. Receive a Pentecost fire, 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 ya 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 It was she remarked Mamaya 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 no de Bube. He led a decate to tell a naked day, and Yanana Nigada Dada Yada, a recata tata to tell Yagadaya, a rana de canana nagadaya, a yaketo soto dole de keta yagadaya, O Balana Ladaya, Elene canane catato, O Rapa Yanagada Gadovara, a sonana nana, a catayana calata dosaya, Elene anane cataya, a rana de cataya. Erakalane kalane robata suna na na na. Some of you are receiving a new heart. You are receiving a new touch. 
you are receiving a new gift you are receiving a new heart you are receiving a healing healing of your body for your divine hair for supernatural service you are receiving a power in your inner man you are receiving power everything about you is coming under transformation it's coming under fire it's coming under power it's coming under nothing god by your spirit lay hand on your people lay hand on your people by your own power lay hand on your people on your soul on your daughter lay hand on them In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Stay in that atmosphere. Bow now on your knees. Let bow on your knees. Not disconnect you. From your expectations. There's a breath of heaven on you. Your world will never forget you. Standing in corporate agreement with my friend Apostle Ame and the grace that commissioned this house to the hand of my father in the Lord, Reverend Welo Wolabi, and all the mighty hands of generals for which my life I passed through. I pour this oil of ordination for the consecration of your spirit for you so that you can become one with God. I believe God for supernatural leadership of your life. That you will serve God in truth and in the spirit. Therefore, for those of you that are pastors, as this oil comes upon your life, do as occasion warrant. For those of you that are evangelists, as this oil comes upon your life, receive your boldness. To take your world for those of you that are ministers ordained and this all you comes upon your life receive your confidence and knowledge for revelational ministry and those of you that are elders elders are overseers of the affairs of God's house administratively and externally at this oil erupts upon you receive wisdom for leadership in the name of jesus right those of you that are thinking you are the, the, the you are the keeper of god's treasure in the treasure rooms of his kingdom you can't keep god's treasure and be denied treasures at this oil comes upon your life receive grace for service in the name of jesus those of you that are ministers in training you are professional that are coming but as this oil comes upon your life an apostolic seed will be planted upon you you will swear high like a lion i'll turn you into ministry i'll turn you into ministry I'll turn you into ministry. I'll turn you into ministry. I'll turn you into ministry. Then you into ministry.
Then you into ministry. Then you into ministry. Then you to ministry. Then you to ministry. Then you to ministry. Then you to ministry. I will then you into Christian service. I will then you into Christian service. With power to serve. I'll tell you the Christian service. With power to serve. Power to serve. Receive power to serve. 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 Receive empowerment into Christian service. 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 Say empowerment into Christian service. Zira kapa tutelia. Receive empowerment into Christian service. Brother, receive empowerment. So, into Christian service. Lika ba da 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 ya. Eka para da 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 da. Zora kapata ya. Empowerment into Christian service. Power to take your place. Power to take your place. Power to take your place. Power to serve. Power para kata. Power para da da da. Power para na no kata. Robata ya da da da. Osa kala na. Rede de de de. Rana na na na. Eka rabado sa. Ya na 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 na. Rabado kapata. Eka baraba. Rabande kandonea. E rabado sala. Ramana bata ya. Akata tata la na. Rana na 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 na. Paya da 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 ha, zoka pa ha, o zuni ha, renage kakata ya, renya para na na, ayata ta kadoda, ramato sala, rane katata, e para na na ya, zota, pa, into Christian service, in the name of Jesus.